Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Sir, please tell me which way is Bolt Fiore. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, now you get down this dirt road, turn. Yeah. Hey! You're a woman! A female woman! Yes! Yeah. I know, but can't you just tell me. Oh, but no, no, I can't do anything. No, this is a naval base. And you're a soldier. Well, we don't allow soldiers on this base. And you're a female soldier, so you're just gonna have to uh, get out of here. Uh, uh, no peeking. Uh, faint. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, you can't faint. Oh, no, no, just keep calm if you're going to faint. <laughs> Woman on the base! Woman on the base! Oh, hold it up there. It's just... Holy smoke, it's a dame. It's a soldier day. A what? Somebody, please. Hi, Corporal. Hey, hey she I, fainted. Hey, she I said she was going to. She told me. She stood right here and told yeah, me. Yeah, hey, go, go get some water, Willie, will you? Hey, you better get two, Willie. I feel a little leaky myself. <laughs> oh, poor kid, she must have come a long way. Yeah, well, she sure must have. Eck, the nearest whack base is in Monteverde. That's over 50 miles from here. Me thinks she said the lady has gone over the hill. Oh, I don't know, Grover. Still looks pretty good to me. No, 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 Mr. Buck. I mean, she's A-W-O-L. Oh, oh, boy. And the skipper told us to stay out of trouble. Yeah, let me try. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Come here. Wait, give me a hand. Come here. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Upsy daisy uh, Thank you. Feeling any better? Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Corporal Sally Murdoch. Oh, hiya, hiya, Sally. All right, at ease, you guys. I'm in charge here. How do you do? Uh, I'm Charles Parker, uh, Ensign Charles Parker. <laughs> oh, <coughs> well, uh, have to take my word for it. I got the uniform out in the shack. Hey, uh, <laughs> Sally, what's the uh, problem? Yeah, what are you doing way up here? Are you AWOL? Yeah, well, my unit is shipping out to North Africa, and I just had to see my boyfriend once before I left. All right, which one of you guys is it? Now hurry up and say goodbye and get out of here and make it snappy. Oh, no, it's Sergeant Bob Clancy. Hey, I know Clancy. Really? Yeah, he's sure. Colonel Harrigan's driver. That's him? Listen, oh, good. Would you take me to him, please? Sure. Yeah. 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 Hold it, hold it. Now, wait a minute, you guys. As your ensign, I want... Pardon me. Well, bye-bye. Hello, Commander. Oh, hi, Clancy. Thank you. Don't you go blaming that security leak on us. Well, Wally, it's nobody on my team, so it must be somebody on yours. Are you insinuating that I don't know how to keep things quiet? Any questions? <laughs> well, uh, Colonel, uh, uh, Captain Binghamton, uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but, sir, you've got to sign this repair order or we won't be able to get underway. Would you be quiet, Mikhail? You want everybody to know we got a broken PT boat and our defenses are under man that could be an enemy agent right now, listening. Binghamton, I don't think the enemy would send any agents to this area. You know? No. Why should they, when they can hear you all the way back to Berlin? <laughs> Carpenter? Sir, how far is Berlin from here? Well, well that's it's ridiculous, say. I'm all on nerve. Are you still here? Yes, sir. Standing around. Uh, thank you very much, sir. And now, if you'll excuse me, sir, we'll be tiptoeing back to the base. <laughs> Carpenter? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sir, you don't think Commander McHale is responsible for the security leak? Oh, well, we've got to keep our eyes on him. Shh. <laughs> Harboring an AWOL whack. Aiding and abetting a military fugitive. Allowing a woman on a restricted base. Hey, look, fellas, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, Corporal. It, um, well, is there anything we can do to help you get back to your base? No, I'm not going back until I've seen Clancy. Clancy? Look, you just can't march into Volta Fury and say, I want to... I didn't come this far to turn back now. Yeah, yeah, she can't afford to be called the Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Look, it's not my idea, it's her idea going into town. What are you guys trying to do, make me the heavy? Excuse me, Skip, but wouldn't it be a lot safer for Sally if, 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 if we got Clancy to come out here? Yeah, but how? Harrigan practically sleeps in that command car. Ah, uh, well, if we could get one of our officers to invite him over here for, say, uh, a lecture on army ordinance, why, he'd be out in two shakes with Clancy right at the wheel. <laughs> I ought to have my head examined. All right, all right, you win. I'll call Harry. Hey! Hey! Uh, 
Welcome aboard, Colonel Harrigan. Well, the men are looking forward to this lecture, yes, sir. Sir, we want to thank you very much for coming, sir. As a matter of fact, I intend to mention our appreciation to the, uh, <coughs> general. Oh, well. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that, Miguel. <laughs> well, now, if your men are all ready, we may as well get on with it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, right this way, sir. <laughs> Hey, Clancy. Clancy, if I let you in on something, you promise you won't panic? Yes, sir. What's up, sir? Look. S -s Sally! Here? <laughs> Down, boy. Take it easy. Wait till the lecture starts. You get it? Clancy! Clancy! Come on, Clancy. Hustle them charts over here. Here, Clancy. I'll help the Colonel. You just take ten now. Let's move it, Clancy. These Navy boys are thirsting for knowledge. <laughs> Clancy, clean up this mess. And you stand by in my field. Oh, sir, it was just an accident. I don't care. You keep this menace away from me. <laughs> this is supposed to be a lecture on army ordnance, not sneak attacks. Clancy, <laughs> give me that map. That chart on the M1. Oh. <laughs> don't you budge from here. Now then, let's get on with it. What are they up to, sir? <laughs> All seated around a blackboard to somebody lecturing. That's Colonel Harrigan. Colonel, what is that army mule doing talking to goofs? <laughs> There's a woman down there. Oh. What is she doing hiding in the bushes? Maybe she's just listening to the lecture, sir. Maybe she's... You know something. You're a bird brain. The only kind of a person that would hide in the bushes and listen to a military lecture is a spy. Therefore, that woman is a spy. Delroy, did you hear what I just said? That woman's a spy. That's right. There is our security leak. <laughs> Uh -huh. Easy, sir. Michaela's signaling to her. That proves that Michaela's and his men are in on this thing. We're gonna go down there and break up this nest of spies. So, there you have it, men. The workhorse of the U.S. Infantry, the Garand M1 rifle. I know you men are all dying to ask questions, so uh, fire away one at a time. Sir, uh, we've all been wondering uh, just how the, uh, the uh, muzzle velocity of the M1 compares to, say, the uh, Colt 45 automatic. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's a very good question, Gruber. I'm glad you asked. Uh, Clancy, do you have the the performance chart of the cold automatic there? Never mind, Clancy. I've got the real thing right here. And if anybody moves, you'll find out about its muzzle velocity. Bingham, then what are you raving about? I'll tell you what I'm raving about. I plugged up your security leak. That's what I'm raving about. It's Mikhail and his traitors. <laughs> what? Now, Captain, these are serious charges. Do you have any proof? Oh, do I have proof? All right, Carpenter, bring the girl over here. Here she is, sir. Binghamton, who is this woman? What are you doing here? Oh, no capiche. Brace yourself, Colonel. I found this girl hiding in the bushes, listening to your weapons lecture. She's a spy. A spy? Oh, that's ridiculous, Captain. Well, why, this, uh, this is just a poor farm girl from the north. <laughs> oh, you're making a big mistake, Captain. No, you're making a mistake, you Benedict Arnold. You're trying to tell me she's a blonde Italian? I said she's a hun. That's what she is. I saw you signaling to her. Now, you better talk, you matter, Harry. Now, look. Bingham, tell me. Uh, no, 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 sir. Sir, I believe I can explain. <laughs> It, actually, uh, you see, this little signorina came down here to see Mr. Parker. Uh, she's his sweetheart. <laughs> Is that right, Chuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy about it, sir. Yes, sir. Of course, I'm uh, trying to let her off easy. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the last kiss you're getting, baby. Oh, Rudolph Valentino, bet I'm not buying it. And when G2 gets through with her and you get a confession, oh, then you'll find out all about Mikhail and his spy ring. 
All right, Mother Harry. Hock tongue. Mach schnell, lick lieber dich, huh? Didn't think I knew that stuff, did you? Hi. Hi. Hey, now, wait a minute, sir. Sorry, you can't let him do it, Colonel. The kid, the captain's all wrong. Oh, poor Sally. Yeah, she sure came to the wrong place for help. Huh, what a mess. You know the way I figure it? The only way out for Sally is for us to tell Bingham then that she isn't a spy, only an AWOL whack. Yeah, you bet, Skip, because by tomorrow, she'll be a deserter. That's right, Sally's outfit's shipping out. Skip, we gotta spring her. And fast, before G2 and the General gets here. Sure, 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 we gotta spring her, yeah. But how? Lead Bottom's got her locked up in a cliff. Women in war yet. Skip us on. What do we do with the poor girl's uniform? Got it all nice and pressed. Well, a lot of good that'll do her now, locked up tight. Hey, wait a minute. You got an idea? That could be it. Hey, boys, supposing we send somebody over to pick up Sally before the general and G2 get there, like maybe a, a whack MP? Oh, you must be kidding, Skip. Where are we going to find us a whack MP? And one that'll play ball with us. Well, who's the lucky one this time? <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, boys. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I wouldn't be able to do this. I'm allergic to nylon. So I just, uh... Besides, I'm an ensign. Uh, a boy ensign. Uh, I am. I am. Well, maybe I should give him a try. Okay, Chuck, the coast is clear. But this girdle is killing me. I think I got it on upside down. Okay. Now, you know what to do. Get in and out fast. All right, get going. Yeah, right, Skip. I mean... Right, Skip! You startled me, you naughty boy, you. <laughs> well, I'm here to pick up the prisoner. Uh, could you show me that naughty little girl now? Oh, am I glad to see you. <laughs> oh, you are? Oh, please, I don't mean that. She's right up those stairs. Oh. Come on. Goodness. Carpenter. What Sorry. are you doing down here? I told you to stay with the prisoner. Why are you doing down here carrying on with this... Um... Female. Oh, no, sir. You see, sir, she just got here, but... Sir, me, you get upstairs. Up, up, I, up, 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 up. Oh. All right, Corporal. Hmm? What are you doing here? Well, uh, Corporal Wrinkle reporting here from G2. Uh, I'm here to pick up the prisoner. G2? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot turn over the prisoner to anybody until the general... Pardon me, uh... Wrinkle, is it? Yes, Wrinkle, yes. Haven't we met before somewhere? Mm -hmm. Oh, you Navy men, you all have the same line. <laughs> wait a minute. How dare you? Now, if you just show me the prisoner, I'll say ta-ta and go. Oh, wait a minute. Nobody's going to ta-ta my prisoner until the general gets here. So you just relax, Corporal, and stop with that thing. I've got my best man watching her. Oh, you do. Oh, boy. You have a man watching a woman prisoner? Well, and I insist that I see her immediately. Oh, a man watching... Oh, well, I, I never thought of that, but it's... Uh, well, not Carpenter. Uh, Carpenter, is that the boy that's just down here with me? We have a little tussle. Mm -hmm. I bet you can trust him. <laughs> if I hadn't gone to MP school, Ooh. given that, why, I wouldn't have gotten out of here. <clears throat> notice his eyes, beady. Mm -hmm. Women notice a thing like that. Oh, well, I, didn't, I didn't come to think of it, his eyes did look a little funny. Yeah, yeah, it's it's close, I, yeah. Oh, perhaps you're right, yeah. Well, I'll take you to the prisoner, Corporal. Follow me. Oh, yeah. oh excuse me. Uh, ladies first. Oh, go right here. Thank you. What? Oh. <laughs> All right, Corporal, there's your prisoner. Hmm. I'm expecting the general shortly, so don't let her out of your sight. Well, don't you worry. <clears throat> Why, if this Jezebel tries to get away, I'll smash her with this. <clears throat> I'm pretty good with it. You... I know you, I know you are. Let's get out of here, all right? Yes, sir. Now, your eyes are a little beady at that. My eyes ah, beady? Ah, what... oh, yeah. All right, now, you hussy. You stay right there, you bad, bad girl. Hey, it's me. I mean, it's me. It's a Parker. I'm here to rescue you. Parker? Hey, it really is you. Yeah. How do we get out? Well, the skip should be right down yeah. here. Okay. All right, now stand back. It's a pretty long way down. Hey, skip. No. Oh. 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 All right, all right. Skip, is the coast clear? Oh, here, yeah, catch the line. 
Here, climb down this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, tie this I don't know how I can ever thank you, Mr. Parker. Well, you can tell me how to adjust this girdle. It's killing me. Oh, Carpal Inco. Oh, boy, it's a captain. Oh, all right, you go down the rope and I'll try and stall him. Coming! I want to see the prisoner, Corporal. Ow! Now, I'm going to tell you for the last time, will you stop peeking? I'm not peeking. What's the matter with you? I just want to see the prisoner. Will you stop worrying about the prisoner? After all, don't you remember the whack motto? Black motto? Uh, yes, um, we always get our man. Oh, look, I don't have time for a lot of girly jokes. I want to question my prisoner. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, the prisoner has retired for the evening. In her unmentionables. What? <laughs> unmentionables. Now, look, you just go right downstairs or I'm going to tell the general. Now, look, I was holding the prisoner before you even got here. You were holding her yes. and you a married man? <laughs> I'm going to tell the general. I'm going to tell the general. Wait a minute. It wasn't that kind of holding. Oh. Wait a minute. Thank you, come in. It's okay. Where's Chuck? Well, Captain Bingham was at the door and he's trying to stall him. Is Clancy with you? Skip, skip. There's a jeep pulling up out front. Now what? <laughs> Whack MPs. Real ones. What are we gonna do now? Oh, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? Tink. Put Sally in the truck. Keep her out of sight. Come on, come on, come on. And look. Watch yourself. Corporal, just a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Corporal, there's no need to be hasty about this thing. You don't have to call the general for heaven's sake. Well, maybe not. If you stay in your room now and be a good boy, maybe I won't sniff, Johnny. Wait a minute. I don't want to. Nighty night. Nighty night. I'm I'm Captain Binghamton, but what is this, girl's town? Sir, we've been sent by General Bronson to guard the prisoner. <laughs> Who are you, Corporal? I've never seen you before. <laughs> Me? Oh, I'm, I'm Corporal Winkle. Uh, I'm from G1. What? Hmm? Two. G2, yes. I was promoted. <laughs> now, listen, the prisoner's mine, so you just keep your hands off her. But we have our orders. Well, so do I. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Hold it. He's going to talk. But... <laughs> you were sent by G2 to pick up the prisoner? You were sent by the general to keep her here? Yes, sir. Oh, these silly men. Isn't it silly? They just can't make up their mind. <laughs> oh, would you stop with that thing? We men are perfectly capable of running this war. I'm going to make up my mind. The prisoner will be guarded by Lieutenant Carpenter. Carpenter! Yes, sir. Here he Carpenter, is. I know it's you. You get upstairs and you guard the prisoner outside her door and watch your beady eyes. My beady And no peeking. <laughs> Well, Captain, I guess you won't be needing me. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll be needing all of you. You ought to stay here till the general arrives. He may want you to accompany the prisoner back. Uh, but the general's not arriving till morning, sir. Well, then you'll just have to spend the night. I've got a spare room. The three of you can share it. Uh, <clears throat> share it? Together? Uh, the night? Yes. There's a war on. What do you want? Private rooms? Private baths? Oh, I'm just... Uh... Now, ladies, if you follow me... <clears throat> just, uh... <laughs> now what? That's classy. Looks like Romeo's come to bust out his Juliet. Come on, Sally! You must be quiet. Get in there. Look, you guys, get over there and get him before he spoils everything. Hurry up. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, Cooper. What are you doing? Hey, I gotta get Sally out of it. I just got away from the colonel, you know. What are you doing here? I thought you were going to help Sally and me. What do you think we're trying to do, boy? Look, look. Sally. Darling, come here. Come on, get in there. And, and as soon as we spring Mr. Parker, we're going to be getting out of here. I don't think they heard you, Skip. Oh. How do I get involved in these things? Now, where the dickens is Mr. Parker? Take, take over there and take a look around, will you? And be careful. Nighty-night. Nighty. Boy, I can't wait to get out of this uniform. My girdle is killing me. Oh, boy, mine too. I, I'm... Be waiting for Corporal. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, well, I sleep with my clothes on. It uh, saves me about 10 minutes in the morning. <laughs> How gung-ho can you get? Uh, well, look, if you don't mind, I'm going to go down the PX and get some razor blades. Well, where are you going? There's your answer. Look. Aren't you the sneaky one? 
<laughs> Didn't you tell us? You've got a date. I do. I do. Oh, I do, yes. Oh, Tinker, delightful little listen, man. Listen, yes. has he got two friends? You will ask, won't you, honey? Uh, well, well, come on now. Well, 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 we're in the same outfit. Date. I mean, after all. Well, so I'll ask him. <laughs> I better oh, go now. Great. Hey, it's wonderful. Hate to keep Such Tinker waiting. <laughs> Night. <laughs> It never fails, Dolores. The fat, homely ones always get the dates. Yeah. Hey, look. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to go in and see what happened. You guys wait here. Oh, hey, man. Oh, skip. Skip. You guys won't believe what I've seen. Never mind that. Now, tell us later. Come on, let's get ready. You, you honey, wait for us. Oh, no. Skip, Groove, you won't believe this, but you got dates. What? Tink, you're with me. Hello, Commander. Hi, Sailor Boy. You selfish thing, Corporal, trying to save them all for yourself. Uh, well, no, 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 now look at soldiers. Uh, I mean, sailor, uh, ladies. It's Colonel Harrigan. <laughs> Mikhail, have you seen my driver, Clancy? Clancy? Well, have you or haven't you, Mikhail? Well, good evening, ladies. <laughs> well, no wonder you look like you got your hand caught in the cookie jar. <laughs> I didn't know we had the good fortune to have wax in Voltafiori, especially such pretty ones. <laughs> you? Sure. Come with him. Uh, well, Colonel, uh, sir, uh, uh, now... What's going on out here? Mikhail, what are you doing over here and you girls? What are you doing associating with these turncoats? Oh, but, uh, now, now, believe me, sir, no, uh, we don't even know these, uh, these ladies. <clears throat> oh, the commander's right. Uh, they're just uh, blind dates. <laughs> now, Cozy, which one is yours, Colonel? Look out for the one with the stick. She didn't really give it. I didn't come here for your sarcasm, Binghamton. I happen to be looking for my driver. Uh, well, gentlemen, uh, if you'll excuse me, I know you've got a lot of arguing to do. Captain! Captain, well, well, Captain she's escaping. gone! She's gone, sir! The prisoner escaped. You let her... You boy! I'll settle with you later. You, you call out the MPs, the male MPs. <laughs> have them set up roadblocks. Give them orders. Shoot to kill. We've got to get that girl back. Go, I go, see. go. I then you, get back to your base. You're still under arrest. Yes, sir. Gladly, sir. You better... Come on, man. No. Let's go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where do you think... Ow! <laughs> Stay right here. There's no women allowed on their base. Watch that, sir. Thing. What am I going to tell the general? Yeah, just what I was thinking, Wally. But now who's got egg on his face, huh? Oh, I'm going to get those MPs. Skip, let's get out of here. we got to get Sally back to her base. Well, what about Mr. Parker? Well, he's going to have to get out on his own. Well, ladies, how about joining me in a nightcap? Yeah, come on there, kid. Let's go, sugar. You look as though you could really use a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, hey, let's go. What you worry about? Corporal Sari's safe and sound? We all right. All right, right Pudge, okay, so she's safe and sound. But I want to tell you goofballs one thing. If I ever see or hear of another woman within five miles of this place, so help me, I'll... You hold everybody there! What is that? Sounds like we're in trouble again. <clears throat> Parker. Hey, are you all right? You get away. Yeah, well, I just went to powder my nose and I just kept running. Hey, wait a minute. Chuck, it's all over with. Why do you keep talking that way? It's a skirt. I told you it's too tight. <laughs> Binghamton, I don't think the enemy would send any agents to this area. You don't? No. Why should they when they can hear you all the way back to Berlin? <laughs> Carpenter? Sir. How far is Berlin from here? <laughs> well, it's a ridiculous thing. I'm all on nerve. Are you still here? Yes, sir. Standing around. Uh, thank you very much, sir. And now, if you'll excuse me, sir, we'll be tiptoeing back to the base. <laughs> Carpenter? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sir, you don't think Commander McHale is responsible for the security link? Oh, well. We've got to keep our eyes on him. Hush. <laughs> Harboring an AWOL whack. Aiding and abetting a military fugitive. Allowing a woman on a restricted base 
Hey, look, fellas, it's it's okay. I'm sorry. Bye bye. Oh no 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 no! Wait a minute, Corporal. It, um, well, is there anything we can do to help you get back to your base? No, I'm not going back until I've seen Clancy. Clancy, look, you just can't march into Volta Fury and say I want to. I've come this far to turn back now. Yeah, yeah, you can't afford to be called. Wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Look, it's not my idea. It's her idea going into town. What are you guys trying to do? Make me the heavy? Excuse me. What the devil kind of a... Oh, oh, oh. All right. Clancy, clean up this mess. And you stand by and make fail. Oh, sir, it was just an accident. I don't care. You keep this menace away from me. <laughs> this is supposed to be a lecture on army ordnance, not sneak attacks. <laughs> Clancy, give me that map. That chart on the M1. Oh. <laughs> Don't you budge from here. Now then, let's get on with it. What are they up to, sir? They're all seated around a blackboard. There's somebody lecturing. Mm. That's Colonel Harrigan. Colonel, what is that army mule doing talking about goofs? <laughs> woman down there. Oh. What is she doing hiding in the bushes? Maybe she's just listening to the lecture, sir. Maybe she's... You know something. You're a bird brain. The only kind of a person that would hide in the bushes and listen to a military lecture is a spy. And for that woman is a spy. Elroy, did you hear what I just said? That woman's a spy. That's right. There is our security leak. <laughs> me skip, but wouldn't it be a lot safer for Sally if, if, if we got Clancy to come out here? Yeah, but how? Harrigan practically sleeps in that command car. Ah, uh, well, if we could get one of our officers to invite him over here for, say, uh, a lecture on army ordinance, why, he'd be out in two shakes with Clancy right at the wheel. <laughs> I ought to have my head examined. All right, all right, you win. I'll call Harry. Uh, welcome aboard, Colonel Harrigan. Well, the men are looking forward to this lecture, yes, sir. Sir, we want to thank you very much for coming, sir. As a matter of fact, I intend to mention our appreciation to the, uh, <coughs> general. Oh, well, <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that, Miguel. <laughs> well, now, if your men are all ready, we may as well get on with it. Oh, yes, sir. All right, right this way, sir. <laughs> hey, Clancy. Clancy, if I let you in on something, you promise you won't panic? Yes, sir. What's up, sir? Look. S -s Sally! Here? <laughs> Down, boy. Take it easy. Wait till the lecture starts. You get it? Clancy! Clancy! Come on, Clancy, hustle them charts over here. Here, Clancy, let me get hold. I'll help the Colonel like you. You just take ten now. Let's move it, Clancy. These Navy boys are thirsting for knowledge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Well, now you get down this dirt road, turn... Yeah. Hey! You're a woman! A female woman! Yikes! I know, but can't you just tell me... Oh, but no, no, I can't do anything. No, this is a naval base. And you're a soldier. Well, we don't allow soldiers on this base. And you're a female soldier, so you're just gonna have to uh, get out of here. Uh, uh, no peeking. Faint. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute! No, no, you can't faint. Oh, no, no, just keep calm if you're gonna faint. <laughs> woman on the base! Woman on the base! Oh, hold it up there, it just... Holy smoke, it's a dame. It's a soldier day. A what? Somebody, please. Hi, Corporal. Uh, hey, she fainted. Hey, she said she was going to. She told me. She stood right here and told yeah, me. Yeah, hey, go, go get some water, Willie, will you? Hey, you better get two, Willie. I feel a little leaky myself. <laughs> oh, poor kid, she must have come a long way. Yeah, well, she sure must have. The nearest whack base is in Monteverde. That's over 50 miles from here. Me thinks this little lady has gone over the hill. Oh, I don't know, Grover. Still looks pretty good to me. No, 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 Mr. Parker. I mean, she's A-W-O-L. Oh, oh, boy. And the skipper told us to stay out of trouble. Yeah, let me try. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Country Hall. Wait, give me a hand. Come here. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Upsy daisy uh, Thank you. Feel any better? Oh, I... 
Guess I should introduce myself. I'm Corporal Sally Murdoch. Oh, hiya, hiya, Sally. Sally. All right, at ease, you guys. I'm in charge here. How do you do? Uh, I'm Charles Parker. Uh, Ensign Charles Parker. <laughs> oh, <coughs> well, uh, have to take my word for it. I got the uniform out in the shack. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Sally, what's the uh, problem? Yeah, what are you doing way up here? Are you AWOL? Yeah, well, my unit is shipping out to North Africa, and I just had to see my boyfriend once before I left. All right, which one of you guys is it? Now, hurry up and say goodbye and get out of here and make it snappy. Oh, no, it's Sergeant Bob Clancy. Hey, I know Clancy. Really? Yeah, he's sure. Colonel Harrigan's driver. That's him? Listen, oh, good, would you take me to him, please? Sure. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold it, hold it. Now, wait a minute, you guys. As your ensign, I want... Pardon <laughs> 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 me. Well, bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Oh, hi, Quincy. Thank you. Don't you go blaming that security leak on us. Well, Wally, it's nobody on my team, so it must be somebody on yours. Are you insinuating that I don't know how to keep things quiet? Any questions? <laughs> well, uh, Colonel, uh, uh, Captain Binghamton, uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but, sir, you've got to sign this repair order or we won't be able to get underway. Would you be quiet, Mikhail? You want everybody to know we got a broken PT boat and our defenses are undermanned. It could be an enemy agent right now, listening. 